hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to quickly show you how you can automatically detect and remove the silent parts from your audio files using python so if you want to learn more about audio processing you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads so to implement this project you have to open your compiler as in my vs code i have already created the project with the name of the audio d silencer and in this project i have three files the first file is over mp3 file which contains both the silent and the non-silent part and the other file audio silence detection and removal in this file we are going to place our code for the automatic silence detection and removal and in the main file we can see how we can use this code from the audio silence detection and removal so first we are going to fill this file audio silence detection and removal for this i am going to open my github page and i am going to copy all this code from here and paste it inside my vs code don't worry i will share this code with the link in the description so you can get the code from there so in this code we have one class with the name of audio processor and in this class we are passing our input mp3 file and the format of the file so you can process different kind of audio files with different formats by using this class so you can use either mp3 or dot wave files or different kind of formats and next we are also going to save the timeline for the silent and the non-silent parts so you can use it later to edit your videos and in the end we are going to generate four kind of different outputs in which two outputs are related to the audio and two are related to the text file so in the first we will generate the silent part and in the next output we will generate only the non-silent part and in the text file we will generate the timeline for the silent part and in another text file we will also generate the timeline for the non-silent part next we will see how we can use this class in our program so you have to go in your main file and here you can write from the file audio silence detection and removal we are going to import the class named audio processor and next to use this class we have to create the object we can just name it audio and we have to call this class and we have to pass some parameters so the two parameters the class needs is our input file and the format so our input file is in the same folder so i am going to just give the relative path and the relative path is just one dot mp3 so if your file is in your project directory you can give the relative path here or if your file is placed outside from your project directory so you have to give the full path instead of the relative path and the next parameter we have to define here the format and the format of our file is mp3 so at this stage we have to run our program in order to test that our files are loaded successfully and and all the paths are correct so you can simply go in your terminal and just type python 3.12 and your main file and just run it as i have got no error it means my files are loading successfully so at this stage if you got some kind of error that no such file or directory so please check your path if your path is correct and if you still got this error it means you don't have ffmpeg on your windows so you must have to install the ffmpeg on your windows in order to use this library called audio processor so i have already made the separate video for how you can install the ffmpeg on windows and i will share the link in the description so next we are going to process this audio in order to generate the non-silent audio for this you can use this object audio and you can call the function process audio and inside this you can pass different parameters according to your needs so the first parameter is the minimum silence length so i'm going to use just 100 milliseconds so for example if i am not speaking for 100 milliseconds so it will detect as the silent part and the next parameter is the threshold and in the threshold i am going to give the minus 60 value and this minus 60 represents the decibels relative to full scale and you can play around these parameters according to your needs and the next the last entry we need is the output folder and the output folder where all my outputs are going to store you can save it in any folder so i am going to name it 
the output folder so all my outputs will be generated inside this folder now if i run my file again as you can see it is processing my audio and it is generating the outputs and it is saving the outputs in the output folder and as you can see here a new output folder is also generated here so if i go inside my this folder the four outputs are here two audio files and two text files so one audio file just have the non-silent part and the other audio file just have the silent part similarly one text file has the non-silent part it has the timeline for the non-silent part and other text file has the timeline for the silent part so next we are going to measure the difference between our original audio and the generated output so my original audio is 1.mp3 it contains both the silent and the non-silent part so now we are going to listen this audio And next we will see how our program automatically detect this silent part and remove it and for this we have to run this output with the non-silent part. Hello everyone you are watching Robotics Workshop. As you can see that all the silent parts are automatically detected accurately and removed and in the silent audio we just have the silent. And similarly in the non-silent parts we have the timeline for the non-silent part and in the silent we have the timeline for the silent part. So this is it for today. See you next time. Bye bye.